Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And we have a brewery now which have been quite prolific on this channel throughout the year. What Vault City. And I saw this in the Tremor Madness and I thought, it looks interesting. I've got to pick it up. We have got a can of Black Velvet. Now, this is a pitch black dessert sour. Obviously, Vault City are specialists in sour beers. Um, for me personally, they've been hit and miss, a little bit novelty, fair enough, you know. So, I saw this and I thought, yeah, it looks good. 6.5% ABV. On the blurb, it says, introducing a jet black dessert sour. The defies expectations inspired by traditional red velvet cake. There's a mesmerizing blend of rich dark fruits, velvety chocolate, and vanilla in every sip. Now I love vanilla. This could be really, really good, or it could be really, really bad. Apologies for the state of that glass. I know it's very amateurish, but I never see myself. As a professional beer reviewer, <laughs> just someone who loves beer. Um, Trembling Man, this, this was, see that, £6.60, which is funny because that is 20 pence less than what Vault City is selling it at £6.80, which what also makes me laugh about this one is that it's. There's a picture of this and the beer in a on the Vault City website in an old fashioned dimple glass, which you know is used for kind of real ale. So <laughs> it looks quite funny looking at it that way. Um, not very modern for a modern brewery to put it in a glass like that, to be honest. So, yeah, let's crack it open, shall we, and see what we get. Let's get a whiff. Oh, my word. And that smells phenomenal. It smells cakey, vanilla-y. Oh, that smells absolutely banging. Um, I should have a clean glass, but I don't care. Let's pour it out. Look at that. Now, that is coming out. Not thick black like a stout. You can see the thinness in it. And it's like like dark. It's a different type of black for me. That different type of black. It's not your stout black. As you can see, the head is different to a stout. Um, stick it up to the light. It's jet black. You cannot see any light through that whatsoever but you look at that head I don't know if you can bring it up and show you the head is slightly different different in look um it's just is um let's get a whiff vanilla again it's kind of like a slight Berryness, raisins and currants for me, rich chocolateness on the back end in the in the aroma. It smells absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna go in, looking forward to it. Cheers. Always oh, tartness. Straight away. Very tart. On the front end. Woo. Um, for me at the moment, there's nothing to counter that tartness. For me, it's full on tartness. I'm going again.
as he go in. They're describing it. Dark fruits. Yeah. Prunes, plums, raisins. That's the tartness. The chocolate edge and the vanilla edge. Now, I thought there would be vanilla there to counteract that tartness. Give it a slight sweetness. I'm not picking it up. It's very, very full on dark fruits. Again, going in. Trying to get accustomed to that tartness is quite hard. Um, the body of the beer, the mouthfeel for starters, is very thin, quite watery. The body of the beer take away that tartness is quite thin. I'm not really picking up much chocolate. I'm not picking up much vanilla. So what do I think of it? I'll be honest, I'm slightly disappointed. I thought, I just thought it would be a little bit more substance to it. But it does feel a little thin to me. Um... <coughs> Maybe they should have ramped up the AB, the ABV. Um, would that make a difference? It might have done. Excuse me. In the body of it, but overall, I'm get feels like I'm getting more licorice. It feels like I'm getting more licorice than chocolate in that. Uh, it was a gamble. It was a gamble. And I suppose this is a prime example of us buying with our eyes. Um, because I thought, you know, the blurb introducing a jet black dessert sale that the expectations inspired by a traditional red velvet cake there's a mesmerizing blend of rich dark fruits yet yeah. velvety chocolate I'm not picking up I'm getting licorice for me and creamy van creamy vanilla the vanilla I cannot pick up I cannot pick up the vanilla and I really can't pick up the chocolate instead I'm getting licorice so overall I'm a little bit disappointed but, you know, great can art. It's drawn me in. I took the bait. You know, it cast its fishing rod. I took the bait. I've bitten. I've bought it. Um, I feel a little bit robbed. I've had better sours. And I've had better sours from Vault City. But this year I've had American sours. Now, American sours for me... We'll blow that to bits. Um, but getting back to that. Nice looking can though. Does it. Does it. You know. Does it deserve to be up there. Oh I'll, I'll leave it down there. Because I need to have a can clear out. It might end up up there. Because it's a nice looking can. But the beer itself. Sure. Well, it kind of really. Falls short for me. So thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Put them in the comments. If you've had this, tell me what you think. But I'm disappointed. Cheers, everyone. Bib bib.